I am very frustrated. They keep talking about the same thing. I feel like broken record. But I have to keep saying, keep talking about this genocide my people are facing today. The world continues to turn a blind eye to the genocide that communist China is perpetrating against Uyghur Muslims. Uyghur police are dismissed and discredited. Meanwhile, China's propaganda is met with blind faith. By virtue of this faith, millions of Uyghurs are imprisoned in concentration camps. Our religion is outlawed. Our organs are harvested. Our hair is sold. Our people are facing genocide. Uyghurs are forced to make your Nike shoes, Zara dresses, Calvin Klein purses as slaves while forsaking their ethnicity and their religion. A promise for a never again was made, but that promise is being broken. You hear the cries of agony from the millions facing brutality, from the children who scream out for their parents, the soaps of women who were raped, sterilized, and the forced to abort. Still, the most deafening is the silence from the world community, in particularly from our Muslim brothers and sisters. The Gulf states remain indifferent to this genocide because of China's Belt and Road Initiative, accompanied by short-term economic profits. But in the end, China will be the only one who truly benefits. China will do unto all Islamic countries what it is doing to East Turkestan, enforce atheist communist ideology and the kill of Islam. Pakistan naively sees its ties to China as mutually beneficial. This is folly. It's becoming China's colony. As the Chinese language is taught at schools and the Chinese military are seen on the streets of Pakistan, it's clear what's developing. The CCP is turning Islamic countries into their puppets with their mouths, eyes, and the ears covered by China's blood money. The people of these nations are our Muslim brothers and sisters, and their silence stabs our hearts. Their faith will be the same as ours if they do not awaken soon. While the OIC has changed its position to support China's genocide, siding with these Chinese Communist Party's bullies, we plead with the Ummah to take up the cause of saving Uyghur lives and concurrently protecting Islam from China's war on religion, China's war on Islam, as is our obligation as Muslims. This modern day genocide isn't just mass killings to the level of extermination. It means the obliteration of the people to extinction. It's our duty to make sure this genocide ends. And it is Muslims' duty to defend Islam. Don't abandon your Uyghur Muslim brothers and sisters. Please stand up with your faith, 